Welcome to the first episode of the second season of Weekly with Florian. Wow, time flies. Fasten your seatbelts because this is about to be a ride you will never forget. I want to thank everyone who kept asking me about the podcast when I return. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I also want to thank everyone who recorded videos for the promotion of the podcast. In Weekly with Florian Season 2, I can guarantee you this. We'll have more fun. We'll have guests, questions of the day, gifts to our beloved followers and listeners, and so much more. Are you excited? Because I am. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, all members of human family. I'm so happy to be your host today. I know you missed my voice. Well, I missed you more. I'm so happy to be able to reach you. I'm so grateful that you can spare few minutes of your time, few minutes of your busy schedule to let me be the voice through your ears, all the way to your mind, body, and soul. Honestly, I am blessed to have you as a listener, as someone who cares about what I share during this podcast. So once again, Thank you. Today, we're going to talk about your health, your well-being. It comes before anything else that you care about. Yeah, I said it. You come first. I know you're a passionate person, a hard-working person, but you cannot do anything if you're not feeling good. Don't sacrifice your health, your time to sleep, your time to have fun. There's a time for everything. Your well-being is non-negotiable. Please repeat after me. My well-being is non-negotiable. There you go. Don't sacrifice your well-being for your job, for people, or for anything else. You can tap others if you don't feel good. Hell, you can't even help yourself if you don't feel good. I remember one day, I was going through a dark moment. I didn't even want to leave my bed. I kept thinking about my life. I had problems just piling one after one. Couldn't seem to find a way out. You know, one of those days you're just overwhelmed. You are psychologically drained, um, mentally exhausted, and you just feel like staying in bed under your blanket is the right thing to do. I was having that kind of days. I took my phone, but I didn't know who to call. Yeah, I help people, but it doesn't mean that they can help me the same way that I did. And if you're helping people because you think they're going to help you back, You're wrong. You really thought wrong. Some may ignore you. Some may decline and decide not to help you when you're in need. Some may act like you never helped them in your life, become dismissive or rude towards you, and they are free to do it. They are free to do it. You know why? Because you help them for yourself. You decided to help them, just like they decided not to help you. And it's life. You don't have time to whine and complain about it. Life goes on. Now, in a world full of evil and self-centered people, who will blame you if you take care of yourself first? If you take care of yourself first, you're in great shape. You're just mentally preparing yourself for rainy days. You've acknowledged that life is full of challenges. Evil people, tragedies, betrayal, unexpected situations, you name it. And you get to stay strong in the midst of all of that. It's hard. But taking care of you will make you unbreakable, invincible. Of course, things will get to you. You're human. But your mental health, your spiritual health, your physical health will be so, so great. You'll be like, this happened. But I'm going to keep on moving. There are moments. Bad things happen to us. 
and you feel like calling, calling for help. But nobody's there to answer. No. Nobody will be there to answer. You on your own. And knowing that, knowing that nobody has your back, knowing that this shit I'm going through, I can tell the whole world and nobody cares. Some may even be glad it's happening to me. Why wouldn't you take care of yourself at first if you know that already? Why would you put yourself in a situation when you know you're the one who's going to lose? You're going to be losing your health. You're going to be losing your peace of mind and a lot more than that. Because guess what? Whatever happens to us, when you're going through stress, frustration or depression, our body follows. You may experience lack of appetite, insomnia, dizziness, headaches. All of them are just factors of what your mind is really going through. Your mind is not in the right place, brother, sister, member of human family. Believe me when I say it. If you're not okay, nothing will be okay for you. So please, my people, take care of your health. One of my best friends was going through a lot, and I was so happy when he told me that he had an appointment with a shrink. I was like, yeah, he's willing to take care of his health. Yay. <laughs> please take care of your health. Life is tough. There have been difficult days, and there will be more difficult days. Days where you're just tired of living. But you're not ready to die. You're not exactly suicidal. You just don't like the life that you have at that moment. It happens. And it's okay to be unsatisfied with the results you yourself produced. It's okay to be unsatisfied, wanting more, being so crushed that you feel that bad luck is following you wherever you go. But the first step, the only way to get out of there, you can only answer those doubts, assess those problems, and get out of that deep hole is if you are okay. I am not Superman. I don't have all the answers, but there's one thing that I know. I don't think that there's anyone or anything strong enough to break me or change who I am. Yeah. People can hurt me. Situations can confuse me or frustrate me or stress me the fuck out. But nothing, nobody has the power to break me. I don't give that much power to people or circumstances. I advise you to do the same. I repeat, please, take care of your health. It's very important. This planet needs you, and you can't be useful if you're not in good shape. Do some sports, find a hobby, exercise, read a book, meditate, do some yoga if you like, socialize with people, up to you. All that matters is that what you're doing is contributing to a better mental, intellectual, and spiritual health. Contributing to a better version of yourself. This episode is, of course, inspired by my own life, my friends' lives, but also dedicated to a dear friend of mine that I love very, very much who told me once that she was suicidal. And I didn't know what to tell her. I didn't know what to tell her. So if this episode can help her, help you, Help anyone who's going through mental breakdowns, problems they feel they can't get out of, then I will have done my part. Thank you for listening to today's episode. I'll see you next time for another amazing episode of Weekly with Florian to uplift and inspire. Take care of yourself, please. Take care of your health members of human family.
goodbye.